Hey everybody, it's me, Bayla Straight. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be banging our string the looks of Los Mos Dragos 3, episode eight. Obviously, my co-host, Sayor Queen, is here. Hi, I'm back. Sorry you've been gone, I was touring the world. And remember that Bay or Stray is nothing like Toot and Boot at all. It's a completely original concept. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So first up, we have Regina, and the first thing I gotta say is Hunty B could never, I mean, <laughs> her boots were cute, I loved it, I loved all like the danglies and the tassel, like, I want you to touch that, touch that, the swing in the back of my, my, it was great. I really don't understand why she was in the bottom, but I lived for it, and it was a total bay for me. <laughs> Yeah, I totally agree with you. She came out like Jenny from the block, you know, like those boots were made for walking, so that's what she's gonna do. And she did that. I love, I think, was it like a leotard? I think it was like a gold leotard. I'm not sure. It might have been a two piece. Maybe a two piece with danglings or on it. But I loved it, and I have to disagree with the judges. I don't think she should have been in the bottom at all. So it's gonna be a base for me. So the next entertainer we have is Raga. So she was trying to give you this ghetto fabulous plastic surgery, and to me it was just two contradicting ideas. I didn't really understand the plastic surgery, but then you're like ghetto because you don't have money, so I no comprendo. So sorry for me, it's gonna be a stray. Yeah, it wasn't like the fiercest look on the runway. It actually got lost like on the way to the runway like not making it there so it was a definite stray like in the back out so next up we have Rudy Reyes and I believe this is what Raga was trying to do with the ghetto fabulous like the jumpsuit like the sparkly the tit out but they were living their cocaine fantasy with that like cocaine because like this was the makeover challenge which we haven't even mentioned they actually had the first makeover worth mentioning total bay for me yeah i feel like this is what raga was trying to do and the cocaine was really funny so it's gonna be a bay for me so the next entertainer we have is memo so i'll let you start off since i know you're her biggest fan well memo came out in the same look memo does every single week like and i think he tried his signature blue look but i wasn't a fan of this like whole look and i feel that he is a drag king and like that's his storyline and that's what he's pushing like his whole platform and the fact that he didn't make his makeover a drag king was like a missed opportunity and like so how serious is he about his platform well, dang bitch hair flip. I have nothing else to say. I'm gonna just go ahead and give that a stray. Sorry, man. An absolute stray. Next up is Madison, the winner of this episode. And she was actually really serving it. I love like the pink Juicy Couture track suits. I love the pink lips. It was like a Trisha Paytas fantasy. We all know I stan. And like Madison does, she did a complete transformation. So I will have to disagree with you on one thing. Trisha Paytas could never <laughs> hair flip. No, but I really loved it. I enjoyed the big old lips, the over-exaggerated lips, the super rich, you know, plastic surgery girl. I really enjoyed it and I enjoyed her partner as well. I thought they were both really funny and the look overall was, it was a total bait. <laughs> Absolutely a bang. So the next entertainer we have is Avise. Who? How are you? Ooh. So Avise, she came back for this episode and she was serving the exact same look Madison was. And the fact that she had her breastplate hanging out of her outfit and wasn't in the bottom, like, I don't understand the judging on this show. It was a straight. The whole outfit was just not working for me at all, Mama. So I'm sorry. So I'm going to have to give it a straight. And lastly is. Miss Taboo, and Miss Taboo came out serving 90s Versace. It was black and gold chains, and I lived for it. But his counterpart, I don't even understand. They weren't even matching. I didn't understand the storyline. Miss Taboo was a babe, but his counterpart was a stray. I actually did not really understand Miss Taboo's. I wasn't really getting, was it Buchona? Like, like that side chick in a sense, a Mexican side chick. So it's, for me, it's gonna be a stray. Sorry, my amor, don't hate me. I love you still. And the top bay of the week is Madison. Madison. Ooh, ah. So that's it for this episode. We will be back next week for Lost Moss Dragas Season 3. And remember, if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that other YouTube stuff. So, bye, bae.
Hasta luego.